Welcome to Whole CEO with Lisa G. I'm the best-selling author of The Boss Weight Loss. I'm bringing you the top tips to be unstoppable. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to actually pull up a chair with today's top experts in mindset, weight loss, business, and more. Learn our top tips so that you can have more energy, be fit and resilient, feel unstoppable, unshakable, and unbreakable. He's a transformational growth expert, leadership executive combining strong mentoring skills with coaching tactics, real world knowledge and experience to assess required individual and organizational change that assists people and companies in punching through their growth ceilings. His background includes successful career spanning several decades, leading Canadian divisions, multinationals based in Japan, France, Germany. He took this leading change aligning with dreams, purpose, and growth. Rick Denley, welcome to the podcast. Hi, Lisa. Thanks for having me on and hello to all your viewers. Hey, Rick. So nice to have you here. I love all the topics that you'd like to talk about on leadership. So why don't we just jump right in with number one, how can we align with our dreams? Well, you know, alignment of our dreams is so important. And we say dreams instead of just goals. Everybody has goals that they might look at. But if we make it a dream, then it's something that we've been thinking about for a long period of time. Something that's out there that we've been imagining that might just be out of reach from us, but we want to go after it anyway. So that's why I say about our lining ourselves with our dreams you know if you're chasing and going after your dreams and you're very passionate about it and sometimes yeah. we need passion to help us as I say and you know it punch through some of those ceilings that get in our way and those barriers on a regular basis so that's one of the reasons first off that I say align yourself with your dreams that you're going after I love that I love I see that you're into boxing and you have that um boxing mitt right behind you so how does yeah. that tie into punching back well you know that's that's a great question thank you Lisa it was about three years ago that I decided that I wanted to do a couple different things and I'm very active in my lifestyle and so I took up boxing and as I started to get into the sport a little bit an event came along that allowed me to combine another passion of mine which is giving back and philanthropy. Mm -hmm. So there's something called fight to end cancer. And it's where they take a bunch of people and create a team of people that have never really boxed or fought before and help us get to a new level of understanding of the sport and actually compete in it in a large gala event eight months later wow. to fight cancer, to really fight cancer, to build awareness and funds to help fight cancer. And who doesn't know somebody who suffered from cancer? It's so, so it's, sad. Yeah, it seems like we all do. So we all do. Listen, you know, the stat, the statistics in North America, okay, are really large that one in five will get cancer. And that's a big number. So if you look around the room at five of your friends, one of you will more than likely get cancer and go through it. So I wanted to give back and raise funds and I like to stay active. So I went through eight months of training before I ever stepped in the ring for my first large fight at a gala Vegas style event. And we raised a lot of money, but it really taught me. So that was a dream of mine and I pursued it. Yeah. And there's tough times and you have to punch through them literally and, and you know, theoretically. And that's what I learned through that journey as well, what yeah. it takes to get there and obtain your dreams. And that's right. what I like to share back with people. Well, I love that. That's what I wanted to speak to you because this podcast really was launched during a pandemic and yeah. we all have to punch through stuff. And that's why I wanted to talk to you about being unstoppable. And I love dreams and I love purpose. Is, is that the same thing or is that something else that you want to jump into? Well, you know what? They all combine, don't they? And yeah. whatever we're trying to dream and the purpose that we're pursuing and why. And I have to share with you that a lot of the reason why people can't get to where they want to be is because of fear. Fear right. is the number one reason that people maybe don't even pursue their dreams in the first place or the purpose that they think they're put on this earth to do. So we have to learn to get past fear. 
And listen, when you look at the letters in fear, you can either forget everything and run or face everything and rise. And I prefer to rise. So how do we punch through those feelings? And how do we get past fear? Because everything anybody ever wanted is on the other side of fear. Right. So we have to move through that going forward. And that's one part of it that we talk about. You mentioned the pandemic. I happen to have my book released right at the very start of the pandemic. Wow. And everybody said, oh my gosh, what great time you reinvent yourself. But it wasn't planned that way. Yeah. So the book, but the book came out right then as well. And that's what I'm touring now and speaking to people on is how do you reinvent yourself to get to where you want to be? And we know that, listen, to reinvent yourself means to grow. And most people want to grow, but they don't know how. Right. And I have to emphasize one thing with everybody is that if you want to grow, you have to change. And that's the one part that most people don't like much of is the change piece. But right. we all have to change. There's really only two types of change. And I want to share them with you now. The first type of change is the one that we decide. Yeah, you right. know what? I'm going in a different direction. I'm going to change things up. Now, that's the easier change because we decided to do it. Right. We hold ourselves accountable for it. And we decided to move in a different direction. The second type of change is more difficult. It's the change that we didn't see coming. The one right. that we didn't predict. The one that we didn't ask for. And more than likely, the one that we don't like. Like it's a funny, pandemic. Funny. Yeah, that asked. was a perfect example. Nobody wanted the pandemic. But I'll tell you what, in life, if you're going to be a leader, and I love speaking on leadership, you need to not only accept change, embrace change, but you've got to get out in front and lead change for yourself, right. your, your companies, other people. You've got to get out front and lead it. And that's most important. It's not just to sit back and say, oh, woe is me. This happened to me. I'm sad about it. Yeah. Okay. Change it. Get that energy. Take that fear energy to punch through and lead the change that you want to see. That's what it's about. I love the topic of leadership and how you're all about leadership. And I love the topic of your book and the divine timing of it coming mm -hmm. out on right in the pandemic. So do you want to, for our last couple of questions, just mm -hmm. go ahead and dive a little bit more into leadership and sure. um, how we can come out on the other side when we face everything and rise and how the yeah. pandemic brought a lot of good with all the changes that we've had to make, don't you think? I agree, absolutely. And if nothing else, it helped us to understand that we can change, that we can be good at change. In fact, that we can welcome change. And the interesting part without getting into it too much, but the biology of it is the brain can be rewired. And yes. we can rewire ourselves, right? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> To, 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 okay, maybe you don't like change all the time, but you know how to handle it better. So every little change that we do helps our brain rewire so that the next time change comes along, we're better at it. So I emphasize to leaders today, if there's one thing you can do to help people that are following you is to help them better change, understand change, manipulate change, get used to it. And that way, they're going to be better off going forward. The one main habit, there, there's a wonderful uh, woman psychologist out of Harvard, and she happens to be Canadian, as I am here, a Canuck. And she mentions and wrote a book on change and understanding it. And she said that there's one skill set that if we get good at, we're going to have a happy life. One skill set. Lisa, do you know what it is? Um. I want to say resilience, but I, I think it, it's also having a growth mindset. Yes, both are right on track with that. The word that she uses and the skill set for us to get better at, and that we as leaders should be helping others get better at, is adaptability. Okay, great. If we can adapt to different situations, regardless of what comes our way, with a positive, energetic mindset, we're going to be happy. We're going to be successful. We're going to get through whatever it is. So adaptability is something that we should learn. And as leaders, be teaching anybody that we can how to be more adaptable. I love that point about leadership because people also to watch what you do as a leader. So if you can become more adaptable and punch back 
be resilient, have a growth mindset, then the people that you influence will notice, right? You're right. That's a very good point. And you know, when I was going through my fight training, it was challenging. It was difficult. And you want to talk about having to learn change and adaptability from what you think you know so that you can survive because literally right. ending up in a fight, then there's your instance. And so what I learned during that time frame is transitional mindset for me that I can use in other places as well. So we need to become adaptable and leadership for adaptability and change is a great way to help others. I love that. Do you have any final words you want to leave our audience with about how they can become a better leader? Yeah, that's a great point. You know, I've got a bunch of information over on my website they can download. There's some blogs there as well on leadership that they can go and grab some articles on as well. Uh, that's at www.rickdenley.com. And there's a whole bunch to download and learn more about. Two weeks ago, I ran a leadership forum. And I put that up on my website as well. So if they go on, want to go watch that 30 minutes of leadership today and into 2022, the year that we're in, I'm sure it'll be helpful for them. And they can reach out to me there as well. Oh, thank you so much, Rick Denley. Your wealth of information on how modern leadership can exist and grow and become better. We can all become better and grow. Don't you agree? Absolutely. And I appreciate you having me on my sh on your show here. And if I can help anybody in any way, leaders that are out there with whomever they're leading, including themselves in what you do, I'm happy to do it. Thanks, Rick. Thanks for being guest on Whole CEO with Lisa G. Thanks, Lisa. Thanks for coming to Whole CEO with Lisa G. After over 20 years helping people lose weight and get fit, I'm so excited to announce that I found the missing link with my coaching. Message me if you want to learn how to look better, feel better, and go faster with a master. Lisa G at lisagfit.com.